of David. Let's talk about the genesis of the film. It was sure. based on a short film. How did that happen? How did it come about? Um, sure, the, the short film is called Fresh Like Strawberries. That was actually my uh, thesis film for my film school here. Um, it was back in LA Film School. This is more, more than 12 years ago when we made that film. Um, and it was, it was based on um, a little bit of a true story of my parents. Um, my mom actually um, called me one day and she told me that my dad cut off his wedding ring in the middle of the night one night uh, for no reason and except just like it's causing him pain. And so he, he basically, you know, um, did that that night. And then um, when she was telling me, I thought it was so bizarre, such a bizarre story. And to her, it was kind of funny. And, you know, they're still happily married right now. But to me, it was like, what if she didn't find it funny? What if she, you know, took it on and make it like represent something more and something more difficult for her? And then, you know, she decided to run away. What would happen? So that's sort of the genesis of the film. Um, of the short film and the feature film. And then from there on, we did the short film with Sharon, Teddy, and Ken, um, who play the mother and father and the son uh, at the same time. So then we've been kind of working on the script together a lot, and we workshopped it, and we're trying to develop the characters more and develop more storylines, and then decided that it's her story, we want to make it her journey. Um, and then, you know, from there on, yeah, that's the feature that came out of it. And it was kind of, you know, it took a long time. I think it really took about 10 years of writing and developing. And then maybe the last three to four years, that's when we really kind of made it going with trying to find funding and trying to find the other actors for it and, and then got the film together. We all became such good friends since that short film. And, you know, me and Teddy are like really good buddies. and. Sharon and Ken also, we stay in friend, as friends the whole time. And then as we were workshopping, you know, I mean, there's no question that this is going to still be them. Like, that's, I want them to be part of the film again. And, you know, they really blew me away And when we do the short film. So, um, yeah, there's no, it's not a no-brainer for that. This took a long time to become a feature film. Mm -hmm. What were the challenges? Um, well, so many of them. Um, I think to me, writing uh, comes probably first because um, I wouldn't quite call myself like a writer. I wrote because I want to direct and I think I want to make this film. Um, and so that took me a long time to develop the script and finding out what I really want, like what story, what particular part of the story that I really want to tell. Um, and developing these characters. So it took me a long time to like get that going. So um, I would say that's probably like first and foremost. Um, and the next thing is probably money. It definitely it's hard to find money these days for indie films or any films really. And, and for us to try to be a first time filmmaker to find money is, it's hard. <laughs> so, um, but we're lucky we, you know, I have an amazing producer, her name is Joyce Lou Countryman. She um, basically whole, kind of started this Kickstarter campaign for us. And we did make, um, we made about $53,000, which is half of our budget to go into the film. Um, and, you know, that was the toughest month of our life. But it was, you know, very rewarding because we have all these supporters now. And we have, you know, we obviously the money comes in very handy for us. and. And then as soon as that happened, we, we made the film and we went into production the next month. And the Kickstarter campaign, was there a whole marketing uh, planning behind it before you got to the Kickstarter stage? Yeah, we, um, we, did a, we started a Facebook page um, maybe I'll say a year and a half before we did the Kickstarter. And we somehow we, you know, we were able to, we got like around 2,000 fans on that page. And it was really, you know, it was really nice to help, help um, to have that. And then from there on, we uh, we shot a trailer with just a three-minute trailer. We shot um, with the actors, with some of the actors, and um, to try to kind of get the story to people and to tell, like, so that people know, like, what exactly the film is, what it looks like, and who are the actors. Um, and that was really helpful for us to gather more fans from there and I think so those are the sort of the pre-mar pre-kickstarter marketing plans that we had getting a big Hollywood star you you cast a big Hollywood star in a very smart way you got George Takei can you tell us about how you got him and what he brings to your film specifically sure uh, um, I have to give credit to my producer again Joyce so she 
basically, um, okay, so this is about three years ago. We were writing the script, and we already thought of him, uh, George Takei, to be a, in a cameo for the film because I think that's sort of works for the flow of the film, and he plays a very critical role, even a very short scene, but I think it really changes the, the dynamics of the character and then the growth of the character to move on to the next stage. So we thought of him just because of his you know, background in the LGBT community and also in the Asian American communities. He just did so much for us, for them, and to um, have him in the story would make sense, I think. We can't really think of anybody else who would be able to do that so well. Um, so at the time, we wrote him into it, and then Joyce, out of the blue, one day when she went to a, a, a play um, opening in East West Players in LA, and then he, she uh, ran into him. She, he was sitting, he and his partner, uh, Brad, was sitting two seats next to her. And so she was like, okay, I guess I have to go and talk to him. So uh, during the um, intermission, she went up and talked to him and saying like, oh, we're doing this script and you know, we really would love to have you in the film. Um, so he was interested, but you know, that was, we were still, you know, gather things together and funding and all this stuff. So, you know, he's like, you know, come back and talk to me when it's ready and then we'll talk again. And then we did two years later, we went back to him and then, and then he said, yes. So we're so happy to have him. And I think he really did an amazing job in it, first of all, and, um, a very moving performance and also just people excited to see him. Like we, we've been through a lot of film festivals now and, Every time he comes on stage, people clap, people just applause, and it's, it's like a nice surprise for people, and I think it, it sort of works for the film. I, I discovered Teddy when I was doing the short film, Fresh Like Strawberries, and he came in audition, um, and, you know, really, really liked his performance, and, and then, you know, so we did the film, and he's a very, he's a very interesting actor, he's very curious, he's just... He has so much curiosity in him. He loves asking questions about everything, and 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 so like we kind of bond it from there. And when we're doing it on the shoot, like he just, you know, he wants to know so much about this character, and um, and then he really dive into it and really makes um, the character his own. And then I really appreciate that from an actor. And you know, so there again, there's a no-brainer to use him again in the feature because he really embodied the part. And then as we move on through the years of developing the character, and, and you know, he was kind of part of that as well, and part of developing who that person is. And it's a little different from the short film, and then we because he's also older now, and like how you know how that character is now is very different. So. Um, we sort of developed that together, and and when we're shooting the feature, and that's yeah, that's him, that's Teddy doing Elliot, and, and we're really lucky to have him. And he also, you know, I think him and Sharon, because we also have worked together for so long, they sort of develop a very nice bond, that's sort of like a mother and son bond in a lot of way, and they became really good friends as well. So they kind of really worked for the dynamics in the film in the feature because. You know, that's a film. It's about the two of them. It's about how they interact with each other and how they talk to each other.